Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Medspiration. Today, we're going to be discussing a very common question that's asked. Is fasting, otherwise known as skipping a meal or abstaining from meals, healthy? Traditionally, an individual is said to be fasting if they've abstained from a meal for about 8 to 12 hours. So if you think about it, most of us fast every evening and then break our fast in the morning. This is where the term breakfast comes from. In today's episode, we'll be taking an in-depth look inside the human body and we'll be exploring why fasting has been proven to slow the aging process, how it can be neuroprotective for our brain, and how it can regenerate our immune cells. Enjoy! Number 1. Fasting slows the aging process. As we take a trip inside the human body, we realize that everything that makes us up is made up of trillions of tiny cells. Over time, these cells wear out or get damaged, but new cells grow and divide to replace the old ones. In a time span of about 10 years, our body replaces entire bones and organs. Our diet plays an important role on the rate at which our cells divide. Every day, cells clone themselves into billions to battle wear and tear on our organs. The DNA inside each cell gets copied the old cells die off, and the new ones take their place. But the copying system isn't perfect. Any imperfections in our DNA are also duplicated. Over a lifetime, we make so many copies of our cells that even the tiniest defects accumulate. It's like using a photocopier. Copies made from copies degrade in quality. Since we replace our body every 10 years, by the time we're 70, it's a seventh generation copy of our baby face. Each time a cell copies itself, it loses a tiny piece from the end of its chromosome. These ends are called telomeres. After billions of cell divisions, the telomeres exhaust and our cells lose the ability to divide. This is what causes aging and cell death in humans. Caloric restriction through fasting and intermittent fasting allows our body to rest inherently slowing the rate at which our cells divide. This has been scientifically proven to slow the aging process. Number two, fasting protects the brain. After we eat a meal, some of the food that is processed through our liver is stored in the form of glycogen. This glycogen is stored in order to be utilized as energy in the form of glucose in between meals. It takes about 12 to 18 hours of fasting to deplete these glycogen stores without exercise. If we do not eat in between this time, our glycogen stores deplete and our body shifts its energy metabolism towards burning fat for energy. During this time, our brain stops using glucose for energy and switches to using fatty acids. These fatty acids are called ketone bodies. Ketone bodies have been shown to benefit the brain due to their ability to increase the production of proteins called neurotrophic factors. These factors increase the number of mitochondria and positively affect the growth, connections, and synapses of neurons. Evolutionary theories hypothesize that when our ancestors would hunt for a couple days without success, being in a fasting state for a prolonged period of time influenced the production of these neurotrophic factors in order to enhance their focus and ability to catch their prey. This phenomenon may also help to explain why we feel as though we have better focus when we are not eating as heavy. Number three, fasting regenerates immune cells. Cycles of fasting not only protect against immune system damage, a major side effect of chemotherapy, but also induce immune system regeneration shifting stem cells from a dormant state to a state of self-renewal. This can actually boost our immune system over time. Christians, Jews, Confucians, Hindus, Muslims, and other religions have followed the practice of fasting for thousands of years. In between periods of fasting, whether you're intermittent fasting, when you're taking a four to eight hour window during the day and only eating during that time, or if you're fasting over the duration of the day and eating after sunset, it's very important to get plenty of healthy protein, fat, fiber, and nutrient-dense fruits and vegetables into your system after we break our fast. Also, not drinking water for more than 72 hours can be deadly, so it is very important to remain adequately hydrated. 
With that said, we can conclude that fasting isn't dangerous or deadly as long as it's done properly and in partnership with a good exercise regimen and healthy diet. If you decide to fast, let us know what inspired you and how you've done it. You can fill us in by commenting below. That's it for today, folks. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. And if you haven't already, be sure to click subscribe and become a part of the Healthiest Family on YouTube. We'd love to have you. What's up ladies and gentlemen? So we made this video because one of our Instagram followers recommended it to us. So if you have any content you would like for us to research and make a video on, be sure to comment below and let us know and I'll see what I could do.